We are back with another Canva balloon mock-up tutorial, but this one is featuring the very popular We Can Barely Wait theme. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just about everything. Backdrops, balloon garlands, florals, and furniture. I'll show you how to do this using both the free version of Canva as well as the paid version. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to canva.com. If you don't already have a free account, go ahead and sign up. Again, it's free unless you decide to get the paid version, which I think is like $13 a month. On the homepage, you're going to pick a workspace. I like to use the poster workspace because of the size. Now that you have your workspace open, go ahead to the elements tab in the upper left corner, click that and search for room background. This is going to give you a variety of rooms that you can choose from, and this will be the backdrop that's set against the design that you'll be creating. Once you select your backdrop, you're going to right click the image and then click set image as background to make it fit the page. And you know, the cool thing is Canva has a lot of backgrounds to choose from. Now that you have your room, it's time to start building your balloon garland. Go back to the elements section and in the search bar, type in frames. Frames come in all different shapes, but you're going to be looking for the circle frame. After you selected your frame, you wanna to go to your favorite balloon vendor's website and pick out the exact color of the balloon that you want. Right click the photo of the balloon and click copy. Then go back to your Canva board and paste that image onto your workspace. Now this is the tricky part, putting your balloon into the frame so that it fits. So you're going to click on the balloon image, hold it down with your mouse and drag it, and then drop it into the circle frame. Once you do that, you'll see the balloon doesn't quite fit the full size of the circle. You see all of that white negative space. So what you'll need to do is then enlarge the balloon so that it fully fills out the white circle. And you're gonna do that by clicking on the corner of the image and pulling it until you expand the size of the balloon. And once it's fully filled out, you have your perfect digital balloon. But we're gonna need a total of four balloons to make this cluster. So what you'll do is you will right click your balloon and this little box will come up and you'll click duplicate. This is going to make an exact copy of that existing balloon so you can start building your cluster. Once you have two balloons, put them side by side and then duplicate to add a third. You're gonna add the third to the top, creating sort of like a little triangle between the three balloons. From there, you'll duplicate again and add a fourth balloon, which you'll put kind of in the middle in this area right here. And from here, just get creative. You're gonna start resizing each of these balls until they look like real balloons. You know, if it's a real cluster, they're not all going to be perfectly symmetrical. So you wanna make them look as natural as possible, just like how they would look in person in real life. And to keep these clusters together, you're going to highlight the entire group and then right click and then select group. Now this is gonna keep the, the balloons together so that way you can move them around as a group and they won't separate, making it much easier to build your entire garland. Now we're gonna speed things up a bit. I'm selecting my second color, which will be a pastel light pink. But believe it or not, there's an even easier way to make these really pretty balloons for your mock-up. And you can find them right in the Canva app. So go back to your elements section and type in 3D sphere. Canva has these 3D spheres that look just like balloons and they have almost every color you will need. Some are free, but other colors require the paid versions. So it just depends on which subscription you have. I'm using this light brown sphere because I really love the way it looks. And I'll be building out the cluster exactly the same way as I did with the frames. As a matter of fact, take a look at this side by side. So to the left are the 3D spheres, to the right were the balloons that I grabbed from the website. So you can kind of look and choose and see which one you like best. I mean, you can get the exact color if you get them off the website, but like I said, it's a lot easier if you just use the spheres from Canva because it's all in one place. Okay, so I have my four colors for my garland. Now it's time to build my arch backdrops. You can go right into the elements section and type in arches. They have free arches and they have paid arches. This one's free. I'm going to use one free and one paid just to show both examples. And with these arches, it's really cool because you can change the color very easily. Just hit the color box at the top and to your left, you'll have a variety of colors to choose from. Just find the one that you feel as though looks best or that mimics the exact color that you'll be using. Now it's time to build our garland. So take your cluster, 
right click it and hit duplicate again. If you group these clusters, they should all be together when you duplicate them and be ready to go. I'll take my first cluster and put it at the base of the arch, just like how I would in if I was making a real garland. Take my second and just add it on, mimicking the idea as if I was tying them on in real life, right? So you wanna to try to create the shape that you have in mind. I think everyone's shape will be different. It depends on the design that you're looking for, your personal style, things like that. But this part is actually really easy because you've already prepared your clusters in advance. And again, you know, with this process, take your time, get creative, make the style and design one that fits the aesthetic that you're looking for. I don't really think there's a right or wrong way. And you can use these tools to help. As you see, I'm using this diagonal line just to help me understand the angle in which my garland's going to come down. So the second part of this design is the cluster of balloons that the teddy bear is holding. What I'll do is I'll take my four colors again, duplicate each cluster, Take my clusters down and start to fill out the entire circle, okay? Because this is what it's going to look like on the board, on the backdrop board. And again, do this in a way where the design fits your aesthetic. I wanted to have a mix of the colors all kind of blended together. Once you get your balloons grouped how you want them, highlight the entire cluster, right click and select to group because this is what will keep them all together so you can move them as one unit. From there, just place it on your board or your backdrop and move it around until you find the exact spot that you want it. You can also play around with resizing the balloons here and there, just making sure everything looks in place. Now you'll need to add your teddy bear. You're going to have to do this by finding an image of a real teddy bear online and removing the background. If you'd like to see how to remove a background for free, 100% free, watch my last video in which I showed you how to access a free background remover. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the Canva background remover, which is not free, it's a part of Canva Paid, but it just saves a lot of time, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Now I'm looking for an image of a teddy bear that has its arm up because I want my teddy bear to be holding that ribbon that's coming down from that big balloon cluster. Once you find the image you want, you right click copy, right click paste right onto your workspace. Or if you're using the free background remover, you're going to upload the image to the background remover site, remove the background, and then copy and paste that image. But I'm going to remove the background right in the app. Then just size it down and move it around so the placement is exactly how you want it. And you can even flip the image to change the direction in which the bear's arm is up. Now you can easily find ribbon for your bear to hold right inside the element section again, type in ribbon. As you can see, they have a bunch of free options depending on the color you want. I'm gonna show you this free pink one, which I think is really pretty. But I think ultimately I like this white ivory color one a little bit better. To make the ribbon appear behind the bear's hands and behind the cluster of balloons, you can use the layer function. Again, this is available when you right click, hit layer, send to the back, send to the front, depending on which direction you want it to go, until you hide the pieces of the ribbon that you don't want to be seen. And simply duplicate to add more ribbons. I did notice that Canva has bears also in the elements section, so you don't have to use a picture of the bear from, you don't have to use an image from an online search. You can just use the Canva bears, but be careful because some of those bears look a little bit off, if you know what I'm saying. So it really just depends on the look you're going for, but. I don't know, I, I didn't find any that I thought like really felt the theme that I was going for. Okay, are y'all still with me? Cause I know this is getting long, but this is one of the most important parts and that is our five inch filler balloons. These consist of a cluster of three balloons. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your above clusters, you're going to ungroup them, then you're going to take one of those balloon balls, duplicate it three times to make that cluster of three and put them together in a mini triangle. Then you're going to size them down so they appear to be five inches, you know, smaller than the rest. And then you're just gonna pop them in place exactly how you would do if you were making a real garland.
If you want to add furniture to your look, you can do it two ways. You can find furniture on Canva's images, go to photos, type in chairs, sofa, whatever the case, until you find what you like. Or you can go online and search for a chair or a sofa the same way we searched for a teddy bear. Just find an image online, copy and paste it, remove background, or upload the image to a free background remover, and then copy and paste that onto your design. I'm using this sofa from Wayfair, copy and pasting it, removing the background, and then hitting edit photo and filters just to slightly change the overall shade. That way it matches my design a little bit better. If you're adding furniture, just move it around so that it's proportional to the design. You can bring it forward or send it backwards to so just kind of play with the, the depth of field a little bit. And that is all for part one. So stick around for part two, which I show you how to make those really pretty floral displays for your setup. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like or consider subscribing, especially if you wanna see part two. I may even make a three, four, and five. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments.